Hey there, you idiot. There's a good. We've had this talk before. You know what I'm about to ask you. Why is a knife in your hand? And actually, why are you in a corner too? You're never really scared of anything. Or anyone. Trust me. I've seen how you throw in the little grape shit. <laughs> Seriously, though. What's wrong? You're always more... Well, not always, but... You're usually a bit more talkative. And... You, uh... You normally talk to me about most of the things, so... What's going on? Here. Let me... Let me get a little clip. Hey! Hey! Put it down. Okay? I'm not your enemy. Your friend. Remember? It's me. It's Gotsky. No. The... You know, Lord Explosion Murder? <laughs> It's not just, it's not just fear that I'm getting off of you. It's like you're, it's like you're ready to fight. Fight for your life, to be honest. Okay, listen, I'm not the best at this, but talk to me. I'm here, okay? It's just us, all right? Would you just sit down on the bed, okay? Let's have a conversation. Let's talk a little bit. I noticed a couple things that are off with you, more than just normal. Whenever anyone really touches your shoulder or gets too close to you in general, you get a little fidgety. You flinch a lot. Not to mention, whenever somebody yells at you, me is an exception! Me is an exception. <sighs> On some occasions, you also get a little scared. And whenever somebody makes a Well, okay, besides the murder jokes that I make 24-7, whenever somebody makes a insensitive joke or you know, one that's sexualized, you get defensive. You have that same look in your eye that you do now. So what's going on? What's wrong? I'm afraid to ask this. And please, please, don't be afraid. Okay. <sighs> Were you sexually assaulted? Did somebody put their hands on you? Did somebody touch you in a way that they shouldn't have? Somebody put, did somebody beat on you? You know, I always had my suspicions, but I never said anything. I kept it to myself because I didn't want to be right. Now look. I 
listen. I want you to tell me, me I want you me I want you to tell me your story, okay? Tell me. From start to finish. If you can. Exactly what happened. This information doesn't leave this room. It'll just be you and me. No one else will know. I put that on my heart. Understand? It's just you and me. If you don't feel comfortable with it, I understand. But I will say this. I've got your back 100%. Not many people do. People go around and pretend that they know exactly what you're going through. I'm not gonna pretend and sit here and- I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know what it feels like! But I will say that I know that it's not good. I will say I know that it hurt. I will say that the people who go through that have one of the lowest- have some of the most lowest ratings of recovering or ever trusting anyone again. And I know, I know, you've probably reached out to so many people before. Teachers, parents, everyone, even your siblings, they didn't believe you, not once. They weren't by your side. No one was. I know no one was in your corner. Well, I'm here now, damn it! I believe you! And I'll make sure... Make sure that your voice is heard. Understand? I'm with you 100%. I know you're the victim. I know it hurt. I know trusting hurts too. But... Put your faith in me this one time. Alright? Please. You're safe with me, okay? No one will touch you. No one will, no one will hurt you. I know. I know it's hard to believe. I know it's hard to have hope. Trust me when I say that I believe your story and I believe everything that you will tell me. Your story is valid. You are valid. You are worth so much more than what people say. Don't let anyone else push you down. Don't hide who you are. Yes, you were assaulted. And uh, probably really... No, it definitely messed with your mentality. At the same time, don't give up! I know you won't. Don't be afraid to show who you are. Don't be afraid to shine. And most of all, don't be afraid to show that you survived. If that bastard's in jail, or if he's not, he'll get what he's got coming to him, I guarantee it. You're a survivor, you understand me? You may have lost that battle, but you won the war, you understand? And if you haven't yet, you will. I promise. That bastard. <laughs> if I had the ability to, I'd go and kill him myself, but unfortunately I can't. <laughs> well, 
I'll talk, well, we'll wait on that in a minute. But, you know, I just want you to know that you're worth so much more than you think that you are. You're strong. You survived. I believe... I believe that you can do it. And I believe that you're strong enough to overcome this. You don't have to be scared anymore. I'll protect you, okay? I promise. I'll be there for you when you need me. No matter what. No matter where. So... Don't hide from me, you idiot. You're allowed to feel any type of way. You survived. Now, for your sake, and for everyone else's, just rest for now, okay? You fought a really hard battle. But it's time that you put your fist down just just for a little while you'll fight again soon i know you will but for now rest please i'm proud of you damn idiot you made it through you survived Say.